up guys? We're here at Dreamers of Drift in Austin, Texas at the Travis County Expo Center. It's uh, my third drift event, but I'm not alone. I got the homies with me. Of course, we got that guy right there, Jordan Wheeler. He came all the way from Houston to support and help me out with some media stuff. We got Antonio. As you guys know, we've been on some wild adventures. We got Jose and a couple others are still straggling. Isaac is not here yet because he's always fashionably late. And uh, he says he's not going to drift, but we know he's going to drift because we're going to scumbag him into doing it. Now, I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just start getting into the drifting. So when you first went out there, I'll walk forward with you. You did really, really well, and you were you were you were patient, and that's what you need to be. So then, when you start getting into that transition there into the second one, when you start falling off, remember when Isaac said, when you get in there, blip it real quick to upset it again, and then be patient, and then get on it. You did great back there. You did great up here. In the center is you just gotta flip it, be patient, wait for it to settle. Cause sometimes it can be upsetting and then you can get on it too quick. Just hit it, see what it does, settle in and then feed it the power. And the other thing was like, uh, after the first transition, you see it didn't really flip. Yeah. And I got on it again. The second time I attempted the transition, bro, I just gave it the beans. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, now we're going. Yeah. And then I found myself doing this. And then I was like, hold up, let go of the wheel. Yeah. And it does the self steer, so. Yeah. That was a lot better than last time. Oh yeah, for sure. And sometimes with these Mustangs, what you can do, and you see it from Chelsea all the time when he does it, is once you start to learn your catch points, you can just flick that that wheel down and let it slide through your hands. Bro, I can never avoid it. I hit the freaking cone. Yeah, well, it was just because you, you gave yourself a little bit too much angle. Is this yeah. your first time out with this angle kit on? Yes. Yeah, so you're used to running your angle like you did before, where you would have had to have poured more on. Yeah. But you gave yourself a little bit too much. Yeah. It's just learning with this. But you did good, dude. You did really good. I'm excited, man. That was awesome. Okay, so flip it. So when it's going to transition, flip it. Yep. Let it settle, then get back on. Yes.
So as you guys saw, I got a little frustrated because I couldn't get the car to do what I wanted to do. And when I get frustrated, I, turn, I tend to drive a little angrier than I should be. And I'm definitely over rotating the car and putting way too much steering input, way too much throttle input. So I decided to cool the car down off a little bit and then uh, get right back out there. And, and my son's just spitting out his strawberries. He said, he said he wasn't pleased with my driving. He said, do better. He said, do better. Alex, Big thanks man. for coming out. No problem, bud. Sarah, thanks for coming out. And then, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Everyone's doing What's going on? You're not even recording. <laughs> Look at Isaac, dude. Look at Isaac, really? <laughs> Look at that chode. Why is this so big? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Everyone was here trying to, everyone just wanted to be me. It's cool. It's cool. The transition I wanted to get into is that we just did a video together. Yes. And you slammed together this E46, right? E46? E46. And like, and you were up until 3 a.m. getting this thing together. Yes. And it was, was yellow awesome. before it showed up. It was yellow. Yeah. And now it had no engine. No motor. Well, it had a motor, but it, it did not work. So you put a whole new motor in it, inline hydro, wrapped the car. Yeah. And now you're out here drifting it. Yeah, you want to see how pretty it is on the game? Yeah, I want to see this. I think I, I've already seen it because yeah. of social media, but. Also, I'm glad somebody else has a hot boy helmet like me. Carbon fiber with a sunset visor. Yeah, I got that basket weave. Dude, oh, I got the carbon weave. Man, that's not bad at all. I mean, that's a budget. Now. On a budget, yeah. Yeah. It's like, what color spray paint do you have left? Oh, I got purple and black. <laughs> what about that front bumper? Did you spray that black? Oh, I did, yeah. That oh, okay. Last minute thing. It's got a crash bar in it, but it's, it's like bent. So it uh, me, or else I would have kept, I'll rebuild it and make it more of like the GT3 style. Yep, sick. Got a drift BMW, grip BMW. Yeah, actually we got the other, uh, the coupe. And you got the coupe, yeah. Let me try that out. Well, it's good, man. We got the Stang Gang and then you. But it's okay. We adopted you. It's like, it's totally cool. It identifies as a Mustang, though. Okay, there you stallion. go. It's <laughs> the Stallion. Or a mayor. Like you're a mayor. <laughs> mayor of the Mustang. Mustang the mayor. Well, yeah, it's good to see everybody out. This is the first time I think we've been at a track event together. Yeah. Yeah, this in is the public. first one. In, pub in public, yeah. yeah. We have our own track. It's cool seeing just all the homies lined up, dude. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, it's sick. This, this is a blast out here. There's a lot of people out here. Dude. Than last time. Well, tons of people. Oh, you're talking smack, bro. Good to see you. Good to see the car. It's looking good. I guess next for us is getting that bad boy ready for Ford, Ford Fest in like three, four days. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I'm excited and nervous. I, I, I know. I'm going through it right now. Yeah. It's my third drift event. <laughs> no, but you're looking good. Appreciate it, man. I, I pulled in whenever you were doing one of the last laps, and I was like, nice. Yeah. It's definitely, I wish I had the power of your car in the 5.0, because when I drove your car last, going into the first turn, just giving it gas, I was in drift. I think we have similar power. It's just because I have a different gear ratio. The gear way. ratio. That's what it was. But yeah, I mean, I'm feeling good. Cars, Car feels really good. I'm really proud of what I've done there. Um, it's just getting it to do what I want it to do when I want it to do it. That's yeah. it. I didn't get a ride with it. Ah, uh, I don't know about that now. Of course I got you, bro. Can I, can I sit in your lap and you teach me how to drift? No, I tried that with him last time. Let's go.
basically uh, my tires were shot that last round. Um, I, the car felt like it was ice skating, so I decided to put some tires on it. Um, the boys got them off, and then Vashon and the SN95 said, man, can I drift on those? And I was like, man, if you feel confident enough, you can take them. Um, so I let him go take those tires and give my longtime military friend Quentin hell that I haven't seen in 10 years a ride along. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get some new tires on this bad boy and then, I mean, just keep going at it. All right, guys, I don't know if you could tell by the last run, but I'm pretty cooked. I think it's about 2.30, maybe 3 in the afternoon right now. It's been a long day. Um, and I learned a lot today, but I'm still not quite where I want to be. Um, cars, a ton of fun. It's like, it's a lot to handle. Um, I did notice that when I filled up the tank, I can definitely feel the difference in weight in the fuel. Um, other than that, I mean, the car's been stout. I had zero issues with it today, no overheating issues. Um, it's just really about seat time, getting the laps in getting comfortable with the car and nailing down that transition is really where I'm trying to get to. Um, I nailed it down a couple of times today, but I, again, I just couldn't be consistent with it. And that's where I, where I start getting really frustrated and making all these mistakes and I can't think straight. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can attest to that. Um, other than that, I mean, again, I can't complain. Car did absolutely phenomenal. And the only thing really left to do is when I get back home is do a solid nut and bolt check on the car to make sure everything's okay. Change fluids and uh, get ready for the next one. Dang, they just out there getting it. I can't wait to get there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the day started off on a humongous high because I actually started getting it down. Um, and then I just, it just slipped from my fingers. <laughs> so yeah, gonna go ahead and uh, pack everything up and get this bad boy home. Also like, I have to say this, if it wasn't for this group of guys right here, helping me out. Like, I don't know how I would have gotten through today. Everybody's working, busting their ass, and it's just, it means the world to me. A lot of these guys have been with me since I was autocrossing the Challenger and I did the BF Goodrich Ride Along program. So they know what kind of work it is, they know what it takes, and without them, I couldn't have even accomplished today. I mean, it's been a ton of work, changing tires, getting the car here, getting all the stuff here. So, I mean, these guys mean the world to me. And then my boy, Jordan, and Isaac, both giving me pointers on drifting and just really trying to get my my uh, my driving down. Uh, Jordan was very helpful in telling me where I was making mistakes and what I needed to do to get the car to do what I wanted to do. And the same with Isaac, because he is on an S197 platform and Jordan used to drift an S197. So all the inputs greatly appreciated. Um, without them, I don't think I would be progressing as fast as I am, or at least I feel like I'm progressing pretty fast. Um, but yeah, very excited for, for the future. All right, guys, we're back here at home base. I got the Mustang in the garage. I still haven't gone through it and done the nut and bolt check. Just kind of took a day to really grasp and take in everything that happened. I've gone through the footage, and I think the best part of recording these videos and taking the footage is you get to listen to the pointers and look back at what you were doing that was wrong or caused you to spin out or over rotate or anything like that. So that's been a tremendous amount of help. And with that, I got to give a huge shout out to Isaac and Jordan for coaching me on the sidelines and giving me tips, tricks, and pointers to get my driving style down and get myself to be able to transition and, and be able to predictably transition the car and keep it in drift. I also got to give a huge shout out to everybody that came out to help. Antonio, Alex, Sarah, uh, Jose for covering media, just all the little things like getting the tent ready, uh, having snacks and food ready for us. Um, it was a hot day. It was a long one. Again, right around 2.30, I pretty much petered out. But that's gonna wrap up the video for today, guys. We're actually getting ready to go to Holly Ford Fest with Isaac. I won't be driving on this one, but I'll be trying to cover as much content as possible. We got some pretty sick whips lined up for a couple of those episodes, but that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and you already know what to do. If you want to continue watching the progression of myself and the Drift S197, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on my driving, my progression, good or bad. Take everything with a grain of salt. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.